It's that time of month again, Nintendo Direct Fever, and it's understandable why. Last month turned out to be a Nindy special rather than a full-blown Direct, which left people craving even more. The November Direct was completely dedicated to Smash Bros, so the last time fans got to see updates on other games was in a Direct all the way back in September 5 months ago. It's clear to see why fans would be a little antsy. Now the first credible person to my knowledge to report on this finding of a February Direct was Reset Error user King Zell. Zell simply said, 13 is your lucky number and I'm out. Now Zell is known by the community to be someone with insider knowledge who boasts one of the best track records on all of the internet, correctly leaking things like the world ends with you for Switch, Pokemon Let's Go information, as well as Animal Crossing being in the September Direct. On top of that, Zell knew that the Nindies would be the focus of the last month's shenanigans all ahead of time. And those aren't the only things they've gotten correct, it's just a small sample size to show that this person does indeed have credible information. So by all accounts, we should be getting a regular Nintendo Direct sometime this week, possibly within a couple hours. The only question is pinning the exact date down. Now, Zell simply said 13 is the lucky number, but would that mean that's the day of the actual Direct being aired, or is that the day that the Direct is going to be announced? As you know, Valentine's Day is on the 14th, so I feel that would be an interesting day to have a Direct, as many people may already have plans, especially depending on what time of day the Direct will be aired. Now just as even further confirmation of this, I want to bring forth Polar Panda and his source to add on to the fact that there's probably going to be a Direct this week. During last week, Panda posted that, My friends at NOA are saying Direct maybe next week. Interesting, they say maybe. Perhaps they have stuff implying one is next week but aren't sure yet. We'll have to wait and see. My Nintendo of America contact does not like asking about directs, but whenever he does, I'll continue sharing here. And then once King Zell had revealed the info, Polar chimed in again saying, Sounds like my info was right. King Zell now says the 13th is a good day for a direct. Also, I heard Erdrick is suing from somebody reliable here, cough, Zenother cough, so maybe Brave will be over and done with, maybe. Now for those who haven't heard about Polar before, I have covered them numerous times and Polar has friends and sources within Nintendo of America and again has a really, really good track record. So whenever Polar brings forth some information, I usually pay more attention to that than some of the other stuff that's going around. And in this case, Polar is in agreement with Zell that the Direct should be a go for this week. So I think fans should be able to breathe a sigh of relief at this point because by all accounts, it should be happening. So what are some expectations and thoughts we should have while heading into the Direct? What games might be appearing? What DLC could there be? Well, I want to start off with talking about Mother 3. There have been rumors of it being localized here in the West for many years now, and 2019 is the 30th anniversary of the Mother series, and people thought we might finally be getting the fabled legend prophecy of Mother 3, or even a Mother Trilogy port here in the West. Sadly, it seems like that has finally been confirmed as a dead end. Game Informer senior editor Imran Khan claims to have some information about what happened. Khan says, It was full steam ahead for a while, but upon re-evaluation, there were aspects of the game that weren't going to go without controversy. So for those who don't know about the Mother series and Mother 3 in particular, it touches on some controversial topics and it seems that Nintendo just wasn't willing to go there, abandoning the localization in the process. Now this news will probably be even more upsetting for fans to know that there was actually a plan in place and it was moving ahead, then it just somehow got abandoned. But such is fate it seems. Now a game to keep your eye out for will be Spiral Reignited Trilogy yesterday on the 10th. A GameStop in Germany listed the game as upcoming for Nintendo Switch with an August 16th release date. Now as of today the listing on that GameStop has been removed, so that is definitely peculiar and it is worth noting that something like this has already happened in the past with this exact game. Back in April a listing on the Nintendo UK store appeared as Spiral the Dragon Remastered but was later removed. So as they say, where there is smoke, there's fire, and this time around we probably will get some insight on that Spyro release. 
Now another highly anticipated game will be the Metroid Prime Trilogy which we heard rumblings of during the Game Awards. Many people had pegged for a possible teaser but instead Joker stole the show. Now at that time there was the whole fiasco with the Swedish retailer listing Metroid Prime Trilogy on their website which was later removed and with the recent news that Metroid Prime 4 is going to have to be reworked, now would be the perfect time to quiet down the flames of the Metroid fans by showing them some sweet trilogy for Switch action. So I think there is a great chance we do indeed see something on that front in the upcoming Direct. Now King Zell shared some insider knowledge on games that will be appearing on Nintendo consoles in 2019 including Pikmin 3, Super Mario Maker 2, Box Boy and of course the 2D Zelda and Pokemon. Now I think it's safe to say that probably the Zelda and Pokemon games will not be seen at this direct and we will still need some more time before those first reveals come out. But Pikmin 3 or Super Mario Maker 2 seem to me like interesting prospects for this direct. Now a Pikmin 3 port shouldn't really surprise anyone with how fast Nintendo has been churning out these Wii U ports and it seems Pikmin 3 was next up on the list. Interestingly enough, the whereabouts of Pikmin 4 are still MIA ever since 2015 when Miyamoto commented saying that it was near completion. So it seems Pikmin 3 will probably release on Switch to tie fans over until they can get their hands on Pikmin 4 whenever that may be. I think there is probably a decent chance you see Pikmin 3 port at the next Direct. As for Super Mario Maker 2, it is a pretty interesting game to think about since I think most people figured they would probably elect to just port Mario Maker over onto the Switch, but it seems like they did in fact elect to go for a sequel instead. Again, I think this game is something we could possibly see at the upcoming Direct. And then we have some interesting news on Fire Emblem. According to Nintendo Soup, the official Nintendo YouTube channel did recently upload a private video into the Fire Emblem playlist. Now with the looming Direct around the corner, this could mean we get to view some new Fire Emblem Three Houses footage with a possible hard release date even. As you know Three Houses is scheduled to release this year and now would seemingly be a good time to let the Fire Emblem fans get some more insight into the next installment in the franchise. Personally I think it's almost a guarantee that we are going to get some type of Three Houses footage at the direct and this playlist only adds more fuel to that fire. Now dating back to last year we've heard rumors of a Star Fox Grand Prix racing game that was in development. Well it seems this direct may be the time we finally get concrete information on that. Now John from Game Explain, as I've said before is someone who clearly has inside knowledge about key information from these Nintendo directs. That much should be obvious by now. He's always in the know for when the directs are about to happen as well as knowing a few things from each direct. He's been talking up Star Fox Grand Prix for a while now and recently posted this image on Twitter. Now Game Explain often does use Captain Falcon as a placeholder image for this kind of stuff. So this game, whatever is happening with it, it's going to be something to keep your eyes out for and I think we're probably again going to see something about it for this upcoming Direct. As for games that we saw in the September Direct, I'm sure we will see updates on most of them that have not debuted yet, possibly even some Animal Crossing information as well. Now what about Smash Ultimate? We just had a recent patch that debuted the long awaited Piranha Plant, next up in line is supposedly Joker. Now when Joker was revealed it came via a 2D animated trailer with no actual gameplay so fans are chomping at the bit to see his 3D model as well as his moves. While I feel like the likelihood that we see some info on Joker is high. I haven't seen or heard anything about an actual release date yet but that doesn't mean there won't be one for him in the next direct. They still have to make their way through 4 more characters after him and have exactly 1 year to do it in so I think they are going to try and roll out these characters swiftly. Now as far as the rumored Erdrick, I'm not sure when he's going to make his debut, it could be as early as this coming direct and I think the vast majority of people have kind of rolled over and accepted that whether or not Brave is Erdrick, that Erdrick does seem to be the Square Enix rep. Now regardless of whatever side of the debate you're on, whether you think that it is Erdrick or whether that you think it's not Erdrick, I think one thing we can all agree on is that it's going to be really interesting to see how people react to this choice one way or the other. Personally, that's what I'm more looking forward to in all of this is seeing the reactions from those people who aren't out there looking up this kind of information about the fighters. I am curious to see how the general public is going to react to someone like Erdrick and my gut tells me we won't have to wait too much longer to find out. 
But that's it for this video, guys. Let me know your thoughts on everything here. Do you think we have a direct right around the corner? And what games do you think will be in it? My social media links are in the description below. Don't forget to check out my previous videos if you have time and subscribe for more future content. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.